All right, Shalom. Kwame Ashala. We're back again with another class slash the understanding. And this week's class slash the understanding. We're going to be pretty much addressing the, how the Lord, he's going to break up all these camps, all these big camps. And he's going to form the elect. That's the reality of the matter. Right? So to behoove all of us to keep that at our forefront. And um, pretty much just make it about truth, the truth. Not about a camp, a camp name, or anything we formed, right? Because it all comes down to what the Heavenly Father is ultimately looking to form, and that's the elect. Camps are something we formed, right? If you will. The elect is something that no man has to say so with. You know, he will not have any play, play any part in helping form in a sense, right? You can see that with camps, but you can't see that with the elect. You can see that with camps, and if you disagree, you can, right, at least say, and, 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 and count it sound as well, you can at least see that more with the camps versus the elect, you know? So before we get into this call, blah, blah, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawa Kapodash. Double honor to the hopefully elect elder apostles at the Great Millstone Church. Shalom to all the Akim out here under the same doctrine, doing what they need to do in order, in order, according to the scriptures, to the best of their abilities across the four corners of the globe, nonetheless, and regardless, and to the rest of the believers in on this faith of Yahweh, who people call God Bahasham, meaning in the name. How shy the people ignorantly have known is Jesus Christ, right? But anyway, so yeah, that's 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 you know this week's class slash understanding, and uh, that's the reality of the matter, right? That's what it comes down to, all right? It didn't come down to what we were trying to set up, how we thought things should go, our feelings and opinions. It came down to this. Let's get that Romans 11. Seven. Mm -hmm. It's the book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. Yep. What then mm -hmm. Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right. So the things we sought out to do, things we want to accomplish, it didn't come down to that. Right. It, it, it wasn't going to be granted if it wasn't of the Lord's will, right? None of it even mattered. Why? Go ahead. But the election hath obtained it. It was all about the Lord elect. You know? Go ahead. And the rest were blinded. Exactly. And those that understand this are going to see exactly this as being true. This week's class and understanding is being the understanding. That's it. Right? And if you don't see it, read that again. And the what? And the rest were blinded. You're going to be basically blinded from the reality of the matter, man. The Lord about to break up all our camps. All these, you know, uh, camp names and all this other stuff. You know, it ain't no slights to nobody. It's just, it's just we should speak it on truth. Why? Because it's all about the spirit of truth. Right? If we can get that in um, St. John 16 and hmm, we're going to get both. Let's get 14 and 17. Make a quick point. Yeah, so the then, book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 17. Yep. Even the spirit of truth. Yeah, even the what? Even the spirit of truth. It's all about the spirit of truth. That's what you are to be on. You shouldn't be on and making it about camp names. Like that. That's the end of the, that's the end all be all. Your group, our groups, we got a, a camp over here. None of that matters. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, the, the Lord said, 
Israel is not going to obtain that which they seek for. Stride. Let's get, matter of fact, if we can go back to that and let's get that word seek in the, in the Greek. Yeah, kind of. To really make this clear. If ain't other Lord's he, uh, will, you know, and we can also hold that in Amos, the ninth chapter. Lord said, how are you going to sift? Right? What is he sifting for? Yeah, the kind of, Go ahead. It's the word in the Greek. Strong's G, 1934. Epizeteo. Epizeteo. So that's the word for seek it. And it says to inquire for. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Search for. See, search for. Go ahead. Seek diligently. Yep. Like the stuff you put in effort in and want to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go ahead. To wish for. Yeah, to see what you want. Your desires. You know? Who you want to be a man of the Lord or something like that. Who you hope make it. Who you want to make it. <laughs> it's like what the Lord want. Ain't what we want. And you see that our wants is basically exemplified in all the camps that form. See that? Which is the calling, right, if you will, the auditioning of ultimately what it really comes down to. You know? You got to understand, like, when you're trying out for a, a sport or a team, right, <clears throat> say, like, you're trying out for basketball, those that play sports or whatever, I know a little bit, right? You try out for basketball, you might have a squad you're running with, y'all looking good together, you know what I'm saying? Like in a scrimmage or something like that, right? But you're not going to get locked in your mind, regardless of the continuity built there. Like, that's it, because you know, that ain't even the team. That's, that's not it, unless you're being simple. You so you gotta you gotta you 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 can't let this slip out of your 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 mind that this the reality of the matter. You know when they say many are called, many are chosen. The Lord chosen it, many many being called from everywhere. Brothers, believers, not even we not all we not even all in the same state, the same cities, towns, whatever. So many being called from everywhere. You know. I think, matter of fact, I think that's, is that in, the, is that in the, the parable of the net, if I'm not mistaken, but nonetheless, in the 13th chapter of Matthew, but, uh, 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 yeah, that's what you want to keep in mind, you know, so you, like I said, you, you don't want to let this, this, like, you know, situation we in now, which is really like an, it's like a trial or something like that, and, you know, you might get buddy buddy with a mug, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to, you don't, you don't, you don't want to get, you don't want to make it about that. You want to make it about what it's about, and that's the team that's gonna be chosen, right? At the end of it, all of it, that's gonna be formed, and ultimately, you want to make it about doing the things or the ways. That will lead to one ultimately making it. Right? Who's doing the things of the one of someone that will ultimately make it? That's what you want to look for. You know? Because this ain't to cause division or nothing like that. It's just to lay this thing out in the reality of the matter. You know, get the perspective right. Because the perspective of a lot of Israelites is completely like. Blurry, you know what I'm saying? It's like Muslims read the scriptures with it, like as if it's blurry lines. You know what I'm saying? Do you have more on that, brother? Uh, on that, on the, on the uh, Greek. Yes, yeah, one more. It's, okay. It says crave. Yeah, crave. See, that goes into appetites, the things you desire. You know, that's not what it's coming down to. You know, the Lord said He's gonna do all His pleasure. You know, matter of fact, is that Isaiah the 55, 55th chapter? Let me see if I can grab that real quick. We're going to go ahead and get this thing rolling. Oh, 55. 
55 and uh yeah 55 and 11 Isaiah it says Isaiah 55 and 11 so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper see and let me read that again but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So there it is. It ain't, it's, 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 it's not, it's about what the Heavenly Father desires. You know? That's, that's what it's about. You know? So that's what we are to be seeking to. I've got another quick one. You know? And that's ultimately what the elect will realize and be doing. So that's what we want to make it about. The things that the uh, 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 that pleases the Heavenly Father. Right? Let me read this. This is this is uh sorry, right. 2 and 16. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. See that? That's who's gonna ultimately make it. That's who's going to get this new covenant and all this stuff that's being talked about right now. Right? Uh, 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 completely seen. You know? That's who's going to come into the fullness of it. Right? That's who's going to get to uh, manifest the fullness of it. You know? Because we're not under it, but we do have it. Right? Period. But... The fullness, the fullness of it is, is, is what we're waiting on. Like right now, we got the kingdom. The Lord said the kingdom is within. Right? And that's what we're here to be. That's what we're here to get educated on. Hence, draw out. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're here to be educated. Hence, and why? Because what, what does educate mean? Well, in the Latin, go back to the car, which means what? Draw out. Bring from within. We're here to draw out. Uh, 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 these things bring out these things bring it out as brothers like to say you know what I'm saying we're here to bring out the kingdom right we're here, we're here to bring out uh, all that we hold within who we are the reality of the matter so because once again we got the kingdom we got the covenant period as soon as you drunk that wine spiritually you drunk in these scriptures the blood right you, you, you rehearsed a, a Passover you had that wine with some symbolizes the blood of Yahweh Shah. Right? Go ahead, let's get that real quick. Matthew uh, 26. 27. 26 and 27. Yeah. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 27. Mm -hmm. It says, And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. Mm -hmm. When you drink some, what is it? Where does it go? In you. Go ahead. It says, for this is my blood mm -hmm. of the New Testament. Right. So the drink, the wine, which they were drinking wine, it symbolizes the Lord's blood. Right? Because you need to spiritually have that blood sprinkled within you. You know? Because think about it. If we're the tabernacle, we got to have the, the, the same instances that the, the, the tabernacle of old had done unto it. You know? Which made it holy, set apart. In a place for the heavenly Father to dwell, but what was that? Uh, 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 blood being sprinkled upon it. So the Lord, He had He had to sprinkle blood upon us, which He did, right? It's it's spiritual though. So are we gonna have actual physical blood sprinkled upon us? No. But if the Scripture says we're gonna have blood sprinkled upon, it's, it's being sprinkled upon us, which it will happen because we're the temple. It's going to be inwardly. It's going to be spiritually, meaning inwardly. That's like the inward man. See that? Hence what we're reading. The blood in you. You know? Wasn't it blood inside the tabernacle on, on different things? Wasn't it blood sprinkled upon the altar? You know what I'm saying? What's the, what's the altar? It's a table. You know, the altar would be like your mind. You know what I'm saying? The table. You know, your thoughts would be like the knowledge you hold would be like the offerings. 
like the bread, you know what I'm saying? The meat. And then we bring, we bring it forth, that's like sending the offering up. You know what I'm saying? Like when we speak, it's like fire. So it's all there. And all these scriptures, is, is, everything I'm saying is scripture. Everything. Oh, where is that at, brother? Well, you can read what's that. Hosea the 14th chapter, what's that? Second verse, the calves of our lips. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me actually get that other one. Uh, I think that's, that's in the Hebrews. The sprinkling of the blood. You know? Just to make this all precise. Concise and precise. We got 1 Peter. I'll read this. 1 Peter 1 and 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge. See, elect. Come down to elect. Let's hold that. Of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience. Right? And unto the sprinkling of the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach. Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. So that's ultimately who got the grace, who gonna get the favor, the elect. And why is that so relevant? Because I'm the only people, that's what the Lord is, that's who's gonna be saved, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 who's gonna receive everything. That's who the Lord is looking for, that's who got it right. These are individuals who got it right, so that's the spirit we want to be in. He's going to pick these individuals because they will seek the things that they will praise the Lord's holy name. They will seek the things that's well-pleasing unto the Lord. That's why the scriptures tell us to what? Put on there for as the elect. Nothing else. You know what I'm saying? We constantly put it on as the elect. Put it on as the elect. So that's all it's about. What's pleasing unto the Lord. And that's obviously the elect. The Lord says, since thou was precious in my sight, I will give men for thee. Who is he talking about right there? And Isaiah, what's that, the 40, 40th chapter? You know what I'm saying? Who is he talking about right there? You know? He's talking about the elect. What's that, Matthew, the 18th chapter? The Lord says, Surely uh, uh, shall he not avenge his elect? Because when you read that chapter in Isaiah, he talks about, Since thou was precious in my sight, I will, I'll give men for thy life and, and people for thee. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, he vengeance. He said, the year of my redeemed is come. The vengeance is in my heart. The year of my redeemed is come. Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. And what's that? The fourth verse. All that's pointing to the elect. Why? Because these particular Israelites will be doing things as well pleasing to the Lord. And that's going to be, he's going to form, he's going to pull all of these individuals and form them. And that's going to be the body of the Lord. So that's what we are to be looking to. Nothing. We want to make it about that. This ain't to divide your, your camp and get to acting crazy. It's just to keep the reality of matter at, 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 at focus, at concern. Because a lot of dudes get caught up in what they done formed. You know? That's why the Lord say be confounded. Confounded be all they that are makers of graven images. You know what I'm saying? You could be a spiritual maker of a graven image. You know? Dudes out here pushing they cat names. Niggas, the brothers got logo shirts and shit. You know? And these bunch of these camps that's like that, what do you really, really hear from them? The elect. You don't hear IUIC push the elect. All you see is IUIC. The IUIC. Go to www.IUIC. Israelites United in Christ. That's a fucking lie. We know that's a complete lie. That might that might be a bait to get you in and y'all can tell them some truth, but we understand that ain't it. You know? So that's why a lot of times they end up confounding. You know? And confounding situations. But anyway, um, so yeah. You know, I tried to get a couple uh, quick scriptures just to make that, you know, the point uh, that what I said you know, sound for those that don't know. But we're going to come back to that first Peter. Lord willing, we're going to get those other ones and we're going to keep reading because that's not the point. So this is, uh, I think I was, 
What was who did you finish the uh, you didn't finish the Matthew 26, right? Yeah, no, kind. Of. Yep, you got it. Yeah, Matthew chapter 26 and verse 27. Um, it says that he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, mm -hmm. which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Yep. And who is that? The Lord, he really, he, he, he the remission of the, the elect, you know, the remission of the elect. All right. And when you get that word, we know that word testament going to covenant. So, but the point is, that's, that's, that's the equivalent of having the blood sprinkled upon you because you got the blood upon you. You know, it's within you. You know, um, let me grab this scripture real quick. I was just reading this. This is, uh, oh, you know what? That was in the meaning for one of the words. I forget one of the words it was. Pretty much Esau explained it. Lord will not think of it. When you go into one of the words, I think it's in the Greek. Esau got the meaning as Basically, the breakdown, he understand that the Messiah, he only, he only died for the remission of the elect sins. That's literally, that's literally what it says. That shit crazy. So we want to, that, that just proves that we're the whole point home. It's only about the elect. If that actually is read like that in the scripture, you would be, you would be so quick to, you know, that's why you want to have the spirit of truth. You see, when we get in this spirit of like pushing what we got going on. That kind of leads you to not being this, making it about the, the truth, the truth of the matter. A lot of dudes caught up in what they done formed, you know what I'm saying? And this ain't no shot and uh, this at our elder apostles, you know what I'm saying? Because only men out of every, all the men out of Israel that got it right, they always push the elect. You know what I'm saying? But they even gonna be taken out of the camps. Everybody. If you it don't matter who the hell you are, you're gonna the Lord breaking all the camps up. He has to in order to form the elect. So what should we be making it about? The elect. And why is the Lord gonna do that? Because that's what pleased him. So we need to be seeking what pleased him. And being in that spirit, going back to what? St. John, let's get it. Yeah, St. John chapter 14 and verse 17. It says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive hmm. because it seeth him not. Exactly. You know what that world is? That world talking about Jake. That world talking about Jake. That's the world that matters. Get Isaiah 45 and 17 real quick. Then we're going to go right to St. John 17. I want to write this out. This is a lot of sensation, a lot of sensationalism going on in Israel. A lot of Jake don't even know, like, oh, Israel not going to be saved, you know, in the way they think. All Jake going to make it eventually, but it ain't how it was. See? It was in their own heart, man. Yeah, God. You know? Think about what you want to do. You, you, you want to make it about go ahead. I, Isaiah chapter 45 and 17. Yeah. But Israel mm -hmm. shall be saved in the Lord. With an everlasting salvation. So they hear that and they get, and they get simple. Right? Go ahead. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. Mm -hmm. World without end. Yeah, that's true. But the way the Lord is going to work this thing, it ain't going to be how, you know, the, the simple would what, 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 what think it's going to go. You know? That's, that's, that's that. So the world is what? Israel. Well, let's go back to St. John. Let's go to St. John 17 and 9. Yeah. Mm -hmm. St. John chapter 17 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast See, given me. The Lord don't pray for the world. Yeah, God. Kind of. What the world is. He only pray for who? But for them. Yeah, which them. That's the them is who the elect. You know what I'm saying? That's the, See, that's the mindset of how shy in. You know, he ain't worried about no big ass congregation. All J, he ain't even because that ain't what pleases the heavenly Father. He, he, the Lord wants his elect. That's what he got his eye. Go ahead. 
Yeah. It says, but for them which thou hast given me, mm -hmm. for they are thine. Yep, for they are thine. Yep. Right? And all mine are thine. Yeah, and all mine are thine. Right? And thine are mine. Yeah, you just finished the verse. And I am glorified in them. That's it. So let's jump back. St. John 14. Yeah, St. John 14 and 17. Mm -hmm. Even the spirit of truth, mm -hmm. whom the world cannot receive. Exactly. So that's the truth of the matter, but all Jake's not going to get that. Because they ain't going to be making it about that. They ain't going to want to. You know? It's, it's about the, the truth of the matter, the reality of the matter, and the Lord going to, which is what the Lord doing what pleases him. You know? The Lord getting what's precious unto him. Let's get that real quick. Isaiah 40. Yeah, Isaiah 43. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Isaiah 43 and 4. It says, Since thou was precious in my sight, mm -hmm. thou hast been honorable, mm -hmm. and I have loved thee. Mm -hmm. Therefore will I give men for thee. Mm -hmm. And fact, start at one. Yeah, kind. Isaiah 43 and 1. Mm -hmm. It says, But now thus said Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shai, that created thee, O Jacob. Yep. And he that formed thee, O Israel. Now remember, like the Lord said, all that are of Israel are not Israel. You know? Read on. It says, Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. He, I have what? I have redeemed thee. Right. When you go into that word redeem, that word redeem in Hebrew, I believe, is padah. Well, in certain instances. Um, okay, right here is ga'al. Now, when you go into the weaning, Strong's H thirteen fifty. Gaal. Gaal. It says the meaning is what? Act as a kinsman redeemer. And that's a cut. It tells you to redeem only the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Because he said, Paul said in Isaiah the ninth chapter. You know, matter of fact, yeah, when you read Isaiah, Romans, the ninth chapter, you know, he talks about, just get it real quick. Romans 9 and 3. Yeah, Kai. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Romans 9 and 3 says, for I wish that well, I wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren. My what? My brethren. My what? My brethren, go on. My kinsmen, my what? My kinsmen. That's that. According to the flesh. Go ahead. Whom are Israelites? The, the kinsmen are Israelites. Don't you go back to this word, Gaal, which is the word for redeem. In the Hebrew, the meaning is what? Act as a kinsman redeemer. So the redeemed are only Israelites. Because who are the kinsmen? The Israelites. So that's that. But anyway, you read on. Avenge, revenge. Exact revenge. Exact vengeance. It says. To redeem from slavery. You know. Now. Um, that's that. So once again, everybody not getting saved. All these people that's not even Israelites, they think they're going to be saved. They, that's a wrap. But see, out of this, all Israelites not even getting saved. How do we know that? Because when you go to Romans 9 and 27, the redeemed are only who? The Lord's elect. That's who he's going to redeem. You know? Because look, the word was avenged, right? So matter of fact, before you go there, go to Ma Matthew 18. Matter of fact, I can jump there. It's uh, Luke. Luke in the 18th chapter. Yeah, Luke 18, yeah, starting 6. Yeah, kind of. Starting 5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 18 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this widow troubled me. Yeah, who was the widow? And then you know what's crazy about it? That's when you. That's also the rest of the meaning of the word redeemed. Isaiah forty three, right? It says to uh, uh, matter of fact, let me just 
pull it back up. We go back to this Isaiah 43 and 4. Um, well, not 43 and 4, 43 and 1. And you get that word redeem. That word, once again, redeem is the all in the Hebrew. And it says what? All the things I already said, it says avenge, revenge, right? Through the part of the kinsman. But it says also by marrying brother's widow to beget a child from. Uh, it says marry his widow. Was going to your house shot in, 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 in Israel. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know, but the point is the widow is 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 uh Israel, the estranged wife of Yahweh Shah. I mean Yahweh. You know? You got it? Yeah. Luke chapter 18 and 1. God, God ain't dead, he just went away. The most high ain't dead, he just went away. Just like when you actually die, you ain't really dead, you just went away. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Basically, when you go away, you can basically interchange them. You can say you did. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't the case. You know? Matter of fact, yeah, go ahead. You got it. I think I thought I had something. Yeah, go ahead. You got it. Luke chapter 18 and verse 5, it says, Yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her. I will avenge who? I will avenge her. Now read on. Lest by her continual coming, she weary me. Go ahead. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. See, hear what the unjust judge said. This is a parable you use, but we ain't going to go into it. Go ahead. And shall not the heavenly father avenge his own elect? That's what we're going to avenge. So you go back to Isaiah 43. Go ahead. We'll go to one again. I mean, yeah, one. Isaiah 43 and one. But uh -huh. now thus said, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, that created thee, O Jacob, mm -hmm. and he that formed thee, O Israel, mm -hmm. fear not. For I have redeemed thee. We know that's the elect. So how can you make it about anything else? Now, why is the elect going to be uh, uh, saved? Why is he going to avenge them? Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get into it a little bit. Go ahead. It says, I have called thee by thy name. Go ahead. Thou art mine. Thou art mine. That goes into Galatians, the sixth chapter. Let me bring it out real quick. Galatians 6. Galatians 6 and 17, it says, like in 16, it says, and as many, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them. Who gonna give peace to the elect? Why? Because they walk according to this rule. What's the rule? The spirit of truth. Just truth. The most highest truth, that which is pleasing unto him. It says, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them. Thus showing you everyone not going to do it. Because it says as many. It ain't say all going to walk. As many as do do it. Right. Why are all aren't going to do it? Because they're going to be making it about camps and other things. You know? We got a camp here, but we can't make it about that. You know? Ain't about what we got fuck set up. Obviously, we know the Lord to be set it up, but, you know? It's your job to keep the reality of the matter at hand. You know? This is just a way for him to gather his elect. And where is his elect going to be gathered from? Everywhere. Matter of fact, get that. Oh, my goodness. Let's just get that really quick. You know? His elect going to be gathered from everywhere. You know, we can hold it. Um, was that the 25th chapter of Matthew? But anyway, this is Galatians 6. And 16 continued, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy upon and mercy and upon the Israel of God. See that? So all Israel is not Israel. You know? Going back to Isaiah 43, I got the uh the other one. You gotta work about it. You got it. Isaiah chapter 43. And um continue or we read that. Uh, you can reread that. Yeah, verse 1, it says, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Thou art mine. See, that's the Israel of God. 
The angel is Israel. It's the Israel of God. Hence the elect. Go ahead. Verse 2 says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou like shalt... Individuals that the Lord choose, they're not camp names. They're not camps. They're not groups. You might have a whole camp get, get, make it. You never know. But that's not the elect. How do we know that? Because the elect will be gathered from everywhere. They're going to come from all camps. You know? They can come from every single camp. You know? So this is uh, Matthew 20, 24 and 31. It says, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. See that? They from everywhere, man. All across. It says from one end of the heaven to the other. You know? I'll get one more. Let's get Zephaniah in the third chapter. This is Zephaniah 3 and verse 19. It says, I'm going to start at 18. It says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of who are of thee. So they're going to be everybody who are of thee. Right? Who are Israelites. Because Zephaniah, he's an Israelite. It says, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. You know, so they got to visualize that move a certain way. Right? But anyway, it says, think a certain way. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that hearted, and gather her, that's the widow, it says, that was driven out, and will get them praise, and it's like it, get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. See that? You know? So we we in all we in all lands. We in different states, different cities. The Lord said he's gonna gather us one of a city. You know what I'm saying? Two of a city, roughly paraphrasing. We in different countries. You know? All of that. The elect, the elect, the elect, the elect, the elect. The Lord is going to form. That's and that's going. They're basically hearing about the process of what the Lord forming His elect. You know, this is an example. First Peter one and one. Peter, an apostle of Yahweh, shall have my shot to the strangers scattered, scattered throughout Pontus, comma Galatia. See that? These are Israelites in different places. Cappadocia, Asia, comma, and Bithynia, comma, elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, Yahweh the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit. These are the Israelite spirits that were set apart. They were made to be set apart. They were set apart from the beginning. Right? Through sanctification of the spirit, those that went on to be just made, made it about being holy. Right? Who set themselves apart. It says, through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience, they ultimately will come obedient through that, and Sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. So there it is. That meant the tie right back to Galatians. Many has walked according to this rule. So that, there you go. So the, the elect is coming from everywhere. And that's so you can't get in your mind. You, how you gonna have your camp locked in your head? I don't have a camp lock in your head. You just need to make it about what the, the reality of the matter, the spirit of truth, the elect, what's pleasing unto the Lord, which is the elect. The brother reading it, you got it. Yeah, kind. Mm-hmm.
Isaiah chapter 43 and um, verse 2. It says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Mm -hmm. And through the rivers, mm -hmm. they shall not overflow thee. Right. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Yeah, those are those. Are, that's basically most of that's the That's the multiplying of peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says, for I am Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, thy power. Mm -hmm. Thy power. Yep. The one third. The elect. Go ahead. The holy one of Israel. The house of David. Go ahead. Thy savior. Yep. I gave Egypt for thy ransom. Uh huh. Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Uh huh. Since thou was precious in my sight. That's who's precious in the Lord's sight. The ones he's going to avenge. Hence the elect. The redeemed. The ones meaning the ones he's going to avenge. The kinsmen. The, those of the kinsmen that he's going to avenge. Who's he going to avenge? The elect. That's who's precious in his sight, the elect. That's what's well-pleasing unto him, the elect. Why? Because they fear him. They that fear him will seek the things that are well-pleasing. Let me read it again. So I write 2 and 16. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. Man. They're going to, them the ones that's going to, Get the fullness of the new covenant. They gonna get the new covenant. They gonna get. They gonna get the fullness of the new covenant. You know, they ain't gonna just hold it. You know, they gonna manifest the kingdom within. So that's why the scriptures tell us in Colossians to put on there for us the elect, because clearly them the only ones that's gonna do all these things. Though, because why? They're precious in the Lord's sight. And what's precious in the Lord's sight is what's pleasing unto him. What's pleasing unto him, reading again, because I write 2 and 16, and that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. What? Fearing him. Then Samuel tell Saul that? Does the Lord have, get that in 1 Samuel real quick in 15 and 24, I want to say. He says, does the Lord, does Yahweh have the light and, and, and much and the sacrifice of bulls versus the obedience, roughly paraphrasing. And how shall I actually say that? You know, first uh, Samuel 15 and uh, yep, I got it. 22. 22. Okay, Kyle, you got it. Yeah, this is all in 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings as and great, sacrifices. As great what? As great the delight yep. in burnt offerings and sacrifices uh -huh. as in obeying the voice of the Lord. That's what's well pleasing unto him. That's his delight. He said, In all these things do I delight. You know, matter of fact, that's in, that's in, that's in that, that's in that. Uh, I think that's Jeremiah nine. Yeah, kind. Jeremiah in the ninth chapter. That's what that is. This is Jeremiah nine and twenty four. But let him that glory is glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me. That I am Yahweh, which exercise love and kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Yeah, one that know the Lord. And know the Lord wants you to take his knowledge and apply it. You know? You understand that. You know, you understand the Lord. That's what, that's, that's, that's. The Lord is looking for understanding spirits, those that got the knowledge, those who got the thing right. And that's another thing with this. That's why the Lord is going to break these, these. That's why the camp's going to get broke up, man. Because the elect, they're not going to consist of individuals that's like that, man. You got, I want to speak out of, uh, uh, out of, out of, out of, out of, you know, place, out of turn. Um, meaning, like, in the sense of, I don't want to jump the gun, but I was meditating on this, and um, 
see if it makes sense to say right now. Um, pretty much like, well, that's going to take us back to St. John. You know what I was saying when we get to St. John, back to St. John 14. You know what I'm saying? So you can read that one time, huh? Yeah, kind of. Um, first thing with the spirit of truth. You know, you gotta keep it about the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth is is a is a person that know the Lord and understand the Lord. That's all we're looking for. That's the Lord said He was gonna send us. You know, ultimately camps that's correct. They're of the spirit of truth. That's what you make it about. You with them because of that, not because you love them. Because you know what I'm saying, it ain't about nothing else. Men ain't got the spirit of truth. It's a rat. That's whoever. That could be us. You got it. First you, Samuel, name. <clears throat> you got it. First Samuel 15, verse 22. Mm -hmm. And Samuel said, At the heavenly Father, as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying. Man, let me say this too, because it's all about one voice. Everybody that got the spirit of truth has the voice. They know the voice. They're of the sheep. You know what I'm saying? All the teachers, they teaching Yahweh Shah. So they come off and sound like Yahweh Shah. You know? Period. And you are to seek that spirit. It don't matter like who. You know? It's the elect. You know? You got it out. Yeah, kind. It says, it says, and Samuel said, hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice. At the end of the day, that's what it's coming down to. It probably ain't going to be done now, but eventually when we get those times when things start manifesting and the Lord take, like, the, the, the ministry shut down, that's when the elect going to be uh, being formed. There ain't going to be no more camps. You're going to be seeking, you're going to be seeking the ones that got, you're going to be seeking what? The spirit of truth. You know? You're going to be ultimately seeking the spirit of truth because even if, say, you was looking for, like, like, uh, like, for instance, a woman had a dream. She said, I was in a dream looking for GMS. Like, I was like, but well, we was doing our own thing. And I was like, um, you know, basically we was out. That was some spiritual stuff going on, right? Got on the bus, you know, you know, bus deal with transporting, you know what I'm saying, uh, to a destination. But anyway, the, you know, basically like a plane or something like that. That like made me think of like a chariot. But anyway, before that happened, no, I asked that when we got on the bus, and Mars was like, pretty much they not here, they not around. And it it, it makes sense now. She told me they, the woman that I asked, I asked two women. She was like, uh, because I didn't say like I teach or whatever. She was like, What you uh she was like, they ain't around here or something like that. But she was like, if they if you find them, they not gonna let you stay. You know what I'm saying? But I never understood what that meant. I was like, hmm. But now I think about it. Don't nothing come down to the camp. You know what I'm saying? It come down to the elect. How can you, like, ain't going to be no more GMS. Ain't going to be no more HOI. Ain't going to be no more, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be in, any more of that. Ain't going to be in the sense of it being camps. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be anymore. I, I never understood that makes sense now, though. You know? She's like, you find them, they're not going to let you stay. Because all of this closing. So like I said, so my point is saying that when we get in those times, even if you ultimately look for, like, a group, it's going to come a time where ain't going to be no more groups. You're going to be looking for who escaped out of Jerusalem. The spirit of truth. But shouldn't we be doing that now? You're going to be looking for whoever got the spirit of truth. The elect. You ain't going to be on, on YouTube searching. You're not going to be doing that. So it's a figment of our, our imaginations to be caught up in the things that we have formed. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Because the main thing that's about to be formed that we need to be concerned with is 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 what the Lord about to ultimately form, and that's the elect, man. And you just hope you are that you of that formation. You know, you want to be for man, your mindset and spirit to that. And that elect is just a body of those that's of the spirit of truth. Individuals that's of the spirit of truth. 
you know, and they all collectively agree. Because that's how Yahweh Shah was. Yahweh Shah, he was by himself, and he was just looking for individuals that understood. You know? And then once, you know, to pretty much, you know, wrap it up, he spoke to masses in a sense. Right? But he would speak in a language that only the elect can understand, which is what? Really knowledge. You used to call it parables, but it was knowledge. You know, because they say a fool, when he hear knowledge, he throw it behind his back. He ain't going to get it. So our Lord said, it's given unto you to understand the mystery. You know what I'm saying? So that's all he was trying to get, individuals. He was like, I pray not for them. I pray for, I pray for not the world. I pray not for the world, but for, for them. So it's, just, it's clear. So we got to be in the spirit of the Lord. You need to be looking for the spirit of truth. Everybody about to be plucked out. The Lord's about to sift. He's about to break all this shit down, man. Go ahead, Hop. Yeah, all right. First Samuel 15 and 22. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord, hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Yep. So there it is. And that's what the Lord delights in, those that obey him. That's why the elect are precious, those he's going to avenge in his sight. Obviously, because they do what, he, they're his delight. What delights the Lord? Obedience. That's what the house of David represents, hence the elect. Saul, he, he was the face of those the Lord wouldn't deal with because they don't deal with obedience. They don't do the things as well-pleasing unto the Lord. Saul is actually a perfect example of the, the class. He was seeking his own thing, what he formed. You know what I'm saying? And he forgot about, ultimately, is about the Heavenly Father. Home. And you knew, but you left, you made, you, you didn't make it about that anymore. You know? So that's that. You have more? Or yeah. is that it? Yeah, just a little bit more. Go ahead. It says, Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than that of fat rim, of, than that fat of rims. Mm -hmm. You want to speak on it? A lot. Okay, you can jump, uh, jump back. 43. Yep, let me finish. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 43. And let me see where to start from real quick. Should I go back to a good point and just continue? What about spirit? Yeah, kind. So I'm going to start at Isaiah 43 and 3. It says, For I am Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, thy God, yep. the Holy One of Israel, yep. thy Savior. Yep. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, yep. Ethiopia and Seba for thee, mm -hmm. since thou wast precious mm -hmm. in my sight. Mm -hmm. Thou hast been honorable. Ooh. Yeah. And I have loved thee. Yeah. yeah. Therefore will I give men for thee yep. and people for thy life. Mm -hmm. Fear not, for I am with thee. Yep. I will, yep. It yeah. says, I will bring thy seed from the east yep. and gather thee from the west. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, we and the elect everywhere. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you got to keep it about, like the elect. But that, with understanding, basically, with keeping that at your forefront, the elect everywhere, you can't just lock in in one place. You don't just get stuck in the mindset of it just being like, it's all here, we just here, it's just here. No, that shit off. You you automatically going the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? You bound to like miss, 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 you, you know, miss what it's about. So let's go back to St. John. Yeah, fine. Yeah, we just bring out everything you're holding. Yeah, St. John chapter... Chapter 14 and 17, it says, Even the spirit of truth, mm -hmm. whom the world cannot receive, mm -hmm. because it seeth him not, mm -hmm. neither knoweth him, mm -hmm. but ye know See, him. Exactly, exactly. You're supposed to be able to, uh, uh, this is about the truth. You're looking for the, the spirit of truth is what's coming down. We're just looking for truth, right? That's all we're making it about. That's the Lord. That's all the Lord looking for. You know, 
He he looking for individuals. He searched the heart. That's why he said he looked down from heaven to see if there was any that did understand. You know what I'm saying? Any. You know? And he got an individual. Like, are our brains connected? Are our minds connected? No. You know? But ultimately, they could be on the same page if once their search and they consist of the same things, you know, but they are only to be considered if they are of the things that the Lord is well pleasing to the Lord. That's what we ought to be looking for. That's the spirit of truth. You know, you got out. Yeah, kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finish in verse 17. It says, for he dwelleth with you and shall be with you. Yep. He dwelleth with you and shall be with you. That's what it come down to. Just the spirit of truth. You know, just truth. You have more? That was it on that one. You want the chapter 15? Yeah, we're going to get uh, um, read that from top again real quick. Yeah, kind of St. John chapter 14 and 17. Let me just cut this. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. St. John 14 and 17, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Okay, God. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But he know him. Yeah, they, and that's that. That's how Jake. We keep this. This is how Jake Slocky. Uh, uh, read it again. Saint John fourteen and seventeen. Even uh -huh. the spirit of truth. No, it's cool. It's cool. So I just say it. It's all right. We can keep it. So pretty much, that's how Jake think. Jake, they don't. They don't see the truth. They they see everything else. You know, that's it's a it's a portion of individuals that don't make it about this. They make it about other stuff. Like, for instance, I can say now, like, you be having women on comic boards, right? They don't even listen to anybody that just tell the truth. They just got to set people. You know what I'm saying? When you know women busy bodies any goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, it ain't you, you're not going to listen to every brother. I'm not saying that. You ain't, it ain't should be the case anyway. But it's individuals that's just listening because... They stuck at, they don't, they not listening because they like, this is the spirit of truth. And they're just about truth. Because in that case, they'd be, you know, you're just about truth. You know, it's clear. It's clear. You know how I mean, bro, like, brothers don't get listed. Motherfuckers don't even know brothers exist. That's in, that's in camp. So I ain't even talking about us. You know what I'm saying? Per se. But the Lord controls all that. But that's how you know. It ain't supposed to be, that's, that That goes into not being a respecter of a person or being a respecter of a person because you're not making it about what? What it's about, the reality of the matter, which is what? The spirit of truth. It don't matter what you form, who you alliance with. It don't matter about that. The scripture say, call, say uh, let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. You know? Period. Why? Because you will end up not making it about the spirit of truth and you will end up off offending somebody who actually has it. That's offending one of the little ones. One of the, All the little ones is who the Lord is going to say. That's the elect, man. This is uh, Sirach 4 and twenty two. It says, accept no person against thy soul. See thy soul and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. You know? So there it is. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. For by speech, wisdom shall be known and learning by the word of the tongue. So that's the trial of all men. Like the scriptures tell you. That you out here for truth, the spirit of truth. You know, that's how the angels on it. They 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 looking for the spirit of truth. They looking for the utterance. They watching the utterance. You know, they listening to the spirit. If you're according to the scriptures, are you according to how about Shah? Are they according to what's well pleasing to how about Shah? If they not, you have no dealings with them because they're deaf. The Lord's going to kill them. They're an enemy. And you get yourself killed being with them. But you you might be with them because you like them or something. 
Well, that's going to cause this, right? Once again, so I write 24 and 22, accept no person against thy soul and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. You're making it about that instead of what it's about. Well, two form. You know, it don't matter if, if somebody in your camp, they co call going off like it. The hell to camp, man. It's about the elect. All this shit about the end. You know? I, nah, this ain't dissing the camps. We have a camp. The camp's how I learned. I learned from the elder apostles. You know? They taught me about the elect. So, it ain't, but one, there it is. See, I'm not talking about a camp. I'm talking about film. You know? Period. The camps was a way just for the, to, to get who could be the Lord's uh, uh, elect in position. You know? It's like lost. It's like a lost and found. You know how you go around getting a bunch of shit that's just laid out all over the place and you just take it and they bring all those items and they put them in one place. And then when people are ready to look for, look for what was lost that they may have lost when they come to mind, they go to that place and all the things that was lost are there. They're in an they're in uh, organized place for it. Designated place. That's it. But that place is nothing more than for that. It just served a purpose. You know? They don't want the place. They want the, 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 the thing that's in the place. So the place is played a purpose for that. You know? It's like the Lord... He don't want the cities we scattered into. He don't want the lands. The scriptures say, miserable are the cities that inherit inhabited thee. You think he gonna save the cities because we here? No. He gonna take us out of the cities. I'm glad y'all, you have my leg here. Destroyed. You know? That's that. The only thing that's gonna be left standing is the house shot and the elect. All the angels. And all the angels. You got some? Nah. Yep. It says... And no wise speak against against the truth. This is verse 25. But be it a base of the error of thy ignorance. See? That's crazy, man. It's all about the spirit of truth. It's not about anything else. All right? So let's go ahead and get these last ones. Um. Let's get St. John, 50, yeah, you get that, 15 and 26, right. and then we'll get 16. Yep. Mm -hmm. St. John chapter 15 and 26, it says, But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Mm. See? He's going to testify of who? Of me. So well, how do you know? That, what, so what are you looking for? You're looking for the spirit of truth. How do you know the spirit of truth? It is according to the word, but ultimately if it testifies of your house shot. Got to have the name of your house shot. The lifestyle of your house shot. You know, the understanding of your house shot. The approval of your house shot, according to the scriptures. Go ahead. Continue reading here. Yeah, if there was more. Yeah, that was it on, on the verse. Let's get 16 and 13. Yeah, St. John 16 and verse 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth. Now listen to this. Go ahead. Is come. Right. The spirit of truth is come. Go ahead. He will guide Who? you. Who? He. No, the camps. He. Go ahead. He will guide you into all truth. These camps that's right, they just got the spirit of truth in them. That's it. Individuals in them have the spirit of truth. That's what you're looking for. That's why you they have the spirit of truth. It's not about the, 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 the it's not about the camp. It's not about the name. It's not about the foundation. It's not about none of that shit, man. The old apostle Ricard said that. All that shit was gimmicks. See, they didn't even like that. Because first of all, it's counterproductive. Are we not all bloodline like are we not all bloodline relatives, Akim? Why Akwakim? Are we Israelites or not? Are we Israelites or camp names? Is it camp names before us being Hebrew Israelites? Look, look at Kyrie and Kanye. We can't tell them about our congregation. We trying to tell them we Israelites. See that? You can't be out there pushing a fucking camp name. That's why the Lord gonna break the camps up. Cause they, 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 they to the simple like is 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 
It was just a purpose. Most people don't understand the message. I'm not even saying that because I don't want to sound like I'm going against camp, the, the camps because the camps is how the hell we here. But for those that know, you get what I mean, man. You got it out. Yeah, the same one. St. John chapter 16 and verse 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, mm -hmm. he will guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. For he shall not speak of himself. See? He's not going to speak of himself. But what? But whatsoever he shall hear, mm -hmm. that shall he speak. Exactly. It's not going to make it about what, it's not going to be a spirit of what he got. It's going to only be of just truth. It's not going to be like some personal thing or like, that's why the Lord, that's how we know the Lord going to break all this up and all the individuals that's within these things going to understand this. That's of the elect and we're going to be willing to go. All the elder apostles, they know that they willing to go. All of it. This was just to help. This was rehearsal. This was an audition. That's all it was. So you dudes that think you're going to make it because you're in a camp, a certain camp, you got a camp like nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because you're definitely a nigga. Thinking like that. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're not looking for it's not even about the spirit of truth. You don't, you, you don't, you you worship, you know not what. We know we worship for salvations of the Jews. You gotta understand what you're a part of. You're not just a Jew outwardly. You're supposed to be a Jew inwardly. You're supposed to know what you worship, what this thing is about. Is about what's well pleasing unto the Lord, which is what the elect. Why? Because they do the things that's well pleasing unto the Lord. So that's why the Lord tells us to do what? Put on there for as the elect. In right. Colossians three and twelve. All right. You got more? Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. It says, it says, and He will show you things to come. See, and He's going to show you things to come. All right. So that's all we're making it about. We're making it about the spirit of truth. Every man gonna have to work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. What does that think? What where should that lead your mind to think? This is a last man standing match. You know, you gotta have the spirit of truth with you. That's gonna lead and guide you. You gotta be looking for the spirit of truth to be led, led and guided out of this thing. Not a camp name, but the spirit of truth, wherever it may be. In whomever it may be, don't have respect of persons. You know, don't make it about what you got going on. Don't forget, the Lord is going to do that which please him, not us, you. All right? It's that simple. All right? What you hold? Let's bring out whatever you hold. So that's that's what it come down to, man. That the spirit of truth. All right, go ahead. Right. Let's make the point. Point for you got. It. Yep. This is on Amos chapter nine, in verse eleven. Mm -hmm. It says, "In that day, will I raise up the tabernacle of David mm -hmm. that is fallen, mm -hmm. and close up the breaches thereof." Mm -hmm. yep. yep. See the, the house of you. The ones that do that which is well pleasing unto the Lord. Not Saul. You know, David was the opposite of Saul. So what would David represent? A man at the obviously the scripture tell you he was a man after the most high's own own heart, man. See that? And it's gonna be individuals that's just like David. To where they gonna Pretty much, they, they, they the elect. They're going to get the sure mercies of David. They're going to be dealt with and looked at like David. Hence, the, the house of David, the elect. Why? Because they just deal with the spirit of truth. That's exactly how David was. Yeah, I started at 11. I should have started at 9. He wasn't making it about nothing. He wasn't even, he like, nah, I can't hurt the, the Lord anointed. You know what I'm saying? He kept it. He didn't, he didn't make it personal or nothing. Like, he like, nah, it's just truth. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't biased with him. It wasn't none of that. You know? Go ahead, I. Yeah, kind. Of. How are we going to do it? We're going to close up. Yeah. I'm going um, to go to Amos chapter 9 and verse 9. It says, yeah. For lo, mm -hmm. I will command yep. and I will sift the house of Israel yep. among all nations. Yeah, that's the point. 
among all nations. How the hell can you think it's just about where you, how can you get in that spirit like it's just where you at, you know? As if that's it. You don't know what's going on. You're not even listening to the truth. You're not in the spirit of truth. You're not being about the spirit of truth. It don't matter what it look like, who it's coming out of. If it's the spirit of truth, it's the spirit of truth. That's why the scripture say, in no, in no wise, we read it again, Syrac 4, and 25, and no wise speak against the truth. I'm going to start at 24, for by speech wisdom shall be known. It ain't about the countenance, because that's why David didn't, his countenance was off in comparison to what one would, uh, Basically, in regards to what one would, you know, Jake, a regular person would pick, would think, would, you know, would be king. You know? He did that intentionally. So I said, one that was never thought of had worn the crown. So like, once again, we talking about this earlier on the highway. He's like, Yahweh Shah, he came and he put himself in different forms to see if, 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 uh, uh, if, if the disciples would make it about this. You know? By speech, wisdom shall be known. You know? And they knew he was the Lord. So anyway, for by speech, wisdom shall be known. And learning by the word of the tongue. And David went on and became a heavy prophet. Anyway, and no wise speak against the truth. See that? But be abased in the era of thy ignorance. You're very ignorant. Thinking, you know... Like, the, to, like the, the, the point of the, 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 the class, the understanding. That's very ignorant. You just make it about truth. It don't matter who it come from, how it sounds. If it's the complete spirit of truth, that's all it's about. Nothing else matters. You know, the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. But some not going to get it. That's why I says, what then? Have Israel not obtained that which he seeking for? Hell no. You know? But the election obtained it. Meaning those are going to be certain individuals that was chosen to make, keep it about what it's about. See what it's about. And the Lord going to take them individuals out of everywhere they at. Which we reading. And he going to form them. Out of what we formed down here. You know? But yeah, kind of says, like as corn is sifted in the seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. I got some real quick. Yeah, kind. This is uh this is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 12. It says then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou not that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant, every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. So everything that's not of the elect, no matter if it was formed already, the planted already, it's coming up. Lord can break it down, it's coming up, whatever. You know? I say, you never hear IUIC push about the elect, man. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, they shall both shall fall into the ditch. You know? Going back to, once again, what then? Have Israel not obtained that which he was seeking for? Nah, because they blind. They ain't making it. They close their eyes to the spirit of truth. It didn't make it about what it was about. You got it out. Yeah, kind. Yep. Amos chapter 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle. It's a lot here. Yeah, when it's all done and said and over with, that's when it's going to happen. You got it? Yep. In that day, matter of fact, should I read verse 10? All the sinners? No, nah, you just keep it to the point. I'm going to stay go. Yeah, it's all good. Amos 9 and 11, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins. Now you can read 10. You know, that's it. There you go. 
Hezekiah. Amos chapter 9 and 10, it says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Yeah, those that get the, against the spirit of truth, they're going to die. Go ahead. Which say, the, yep. yeah, which say uh -huh. the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, they think what they got going on stands. Or, you know, how they look at things. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they basically in a mindset, we telling, you know, first and foremost, ourselves not to be in and, and, and the rest of you. Go ahead. Verse 11 in that uh -huh. day. So they're going to be done and out of there. They want to attain that which they're seeking for, right? Yep. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of and David. this is the time when the Lord going to form the elect, go ahead. Yep. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Go ahead. And close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins. Mm -hmm. And I will build it as in the days of old. Yep. So this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 2. It says, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. So, that's that. It's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lord, so I'm going to take you to the city. Somebody going to get left. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. So, we you look, you're looking for the spirit of truth. You're looking to have this thing right. Not be just like your house shot, not pull no punches. That's how he, that's how I really see when he was walking around. He was just scanning for realness. He wasn't look, he wasn't clicking up and making all this other stuff. He was he was getting with, you know, he was picking, he let he was picking spirits of truth. You know, he was literally, you know, really he was just going to the elect. Because it ain't, it, these groups got to be broken down for all these reasons. Like, they was formed off of people you wanted to make it, you wanted to be in. We wanted to be in. Didn't want to be in. But what the, but it ultimately ain't about is what the Heavenly Father ultimately want. You know? He said, your thoughts are not my thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. My way is higher than yours. So at the end of the day, like I said, we just got to make keep it about what it's about. It's about the elect, man. You know, we need to, in the day, we need to keep it about the spirit of truth. That's what we really want to keep our eye on. That's all I'm going to say. You had anything else? Call on La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahara, Khazadash. I thought about the ball, call me Asha'Allah. Lord willing, Lord please. Till next time, we have Bashmiel Shah. Rock a thumb, shall I won't.